Hello Pisces, it is your turn, last but not least of course, for your beginning to mid-July reading of this current year. I hope you all are doing quite wonderfully. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's going to be a Thunderdome spread, but it's going to be a different layout. This is going to be your side, this is the person you're dealing with, and this is how what will happen if you all approach each other, right? So, look alive. Cross watchers and the ilk, you guys can switch places or whatever. Just decide who it is that you are and go with that, right? I got yours, Pisces. Definitely looking on the past to see about something in reference to the future. You got a relationship on your mind that was very important back in the day. And it makes you feel like you just don't want to open up about anything. It's got you feeling like pretty cross, like, you know. Things just aren't going your way and making you pretty upset. Like, you're stuck, right? Like, you still have this, like, love back here, in a sense, with someone in the past. But it's, like, it's hard for you to open up because of it. It's left you feeling really down. Like, you want to go forward and say something, but it's, like, you're too afraid to. You've already been through enough battles. So you're keeping your feelings a bit of a secret when it comes to them, right? Let's see what your person's doing. What are they up to? I really want to know. For this whole show. Okay, that was kind of dumb, but I just felt like doing a little ditty. That's all. All right, what is your person doing on their side? Pisces? Ah. What are they up to? Let's see. Oh, well, that was two, but that's okay. Um, They do want to come forward, but it's like... I don't think they do it the right way. It's like they're trying to use their candle to outshine the sun, you know, like trying to use their truth to blur reality, which is like, that's not going to work. And you're probably just going to piss them off. Like one of those things, like don't come in, like trying to put your version in things. Just, you know, almost trying to be a little bit aggressive with it. Not real, but I don't think they realize their aggression. I don't, I don't think they realize, like, they might be coming off a little bit too demanding to be accepted. You know? But it's like, they approached you with a lot of courage. You know, like, they were terrified, I think, of you, Pisces. And now it's like, they, they mustered up the courage. So at least get, let's give them that much credit. They at least had the balls to come up when they're terrified of you. And I would be terrified, too, because if I made you guys mad, I'd probably run, because y'all are scary when you're mad. Like, I cannot handle yelling in the slightest. Um, they want to be fair. That's a major thing. Like, they're looking over what is truly fair. How they're going to balance everything. Um, they are scared to take a leap of faith towards you, though. But they are trying to be fair. Um... <clears throat> I think maybe realizing that, like, the relationship went bad because, like, no one really took the time to work on the issues that they were putting on each other. And maybe that's why this person feels like I gotta try to do something good or spread some good news in order to, like, come and deal with this rather accordingly. Maybe they have to take advantage of something. Like, they, like they want to come quick with good news in the future. Maybe not towards you, but just put something out there, I guess. Now, for you, Pisces, like, there's some completion here. Home, family, stuff like that. And there's this sense, like, you don't want to reach out because, like, you have everything you, pretty much that you need. Or you just don't want to communicate because you're a little bit hard-headed. It could be with the Aquarius as well. Now, you have options available to you for whatever reason because you do have clarity over a lot of things. Like, you do understand what your options are and all that jazz. But you do realize that you are feeling left out in the cold and you're kind of tired of feeling that way. Like, I think you're, like, looking at, hmm, what would happen if I, like, dealt with this person on the other side of the board. I think they might, you might miss each other. Yeah, like you're, you're looking for info. You're trying to figure some shit out. Um, maybe see if there is a reason to start things or maybe if there, I think you're trying to confirm your bias to find out whether or not it's a good idea to start something 
Like, you're trying to look for what won't allow it to happen, Pisces. And it's got you feeling like, you know, I, I really don't know if I want to take passion with this. Let's see. This person on this side, they might have a treasure trove, but they miss the fuck out of you. Like, they might be wealthy, they might have power, but all this shit, but in the inside, it's like, I want the person I want back. Or at least they antagonize with how they treated you, maybe. But they're also choosing to move on with their future. They're choosing the real world, not this one that they have made up in their head. They do want to deliver something of value to you, though. Like, they do want to give you a sort of present or a gift or some sort of reward. Um, something about who they are. Like, how they come in tune with themselves. And I think they realize that, like, moving forward, that might not be much of an offer. Um, but they are coming out of this mental anguish that they were suffering up above. They're releasing themselves from it. They found a way out of it. And they're trying to do the right thing. And what happens if you guys actually approach each other? Ooh, they can dance. This might be a little bit romantic, Pisces. This would be cute if it was. I hope so. We'll just have to see. What happens if you two approach each other? First off, this is fate in your own hands, right? You can decide to do whatever you want to do. Okay? Just remember that. The wheel's on your side. So definitely a position of um, creation. Ah, okay. So someone might be a little bit nasty. It could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They could come off like brutish, um, assertive, in a bad mood, taking advantage of things. Um, just to get whatever it is they're wanting. There's some wish fulfillment, and I feel like behind it is somebody who just went through something that made them very very harsh to deal with and very uh almost demeaning like cruel i feel like um somebody definitely has their guard up you might pisces might have your guard up exceptionally so exceptionally so with this person but i feel like you're also letting your guard down a little bit like you're familiar with them oh Aww. Yeah. You do want to recover. You, yeah, I, I, okay. That's cute. There's a relationship here, and like, it, there was heartbreak, but it's like recovery from this heartbreak. You might just. This person does want to communicate with you. They, want, they do want to talk to you about how they went inside and realized that um, everything they did was wrong and they want to apologize for it. This is so cute. This is like a past lover or something. And like they realized why things didn't work out. How like they caused like their own issues and why they weren't able to move forward. Cancer's card. Reverse. They just kept battling for no reason because they wouldn't, they refused to battle themselves. Right? Let's see what the outcome is with this. I think they want to express this to you. I think they're actually very, um, I think they're remorseful and I think they still love you, Pisces. Just in a really fucked up way. That's all. Yeah, they're looking at you. They feel like a commitment with you. You know they're fucking games, so you'll be able to recognize if they're full of shit or not. And if they're full of shit, you'll make them walk away. Like, you will, like, you don't want to be that guy, but this ain't it, son, and I will send your ass gone. That is how you feel. Like, it, like they can talk about the commitment, but don't be bringing your bullshit in my house. That's literally what you're getting to with them. Like, you will fuck them up if they start some shit, right? But I feel like there's kind of a future with you guys. Yeah, oh my god, oh. I hope so. You guys would be that like that would be really cute if like the person like I feel like this person's really remorseful and wants to do the right thing and it's like once you actually take the time to listen to them 
I feel like you'll want to like explore it more, Pisces. And if you explore more, it might lead you to your happily ever after. Good deal. This is your reading, Pisces, for the beginning to mid July of this current year. If you want a personal reading, my email is in the descri bleh, description box below. I don't charge, but I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly for watching my video, and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.